Hey guys, today's playing a game of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Um, so yeah, this is obviously the seventh entry in the Resident Evil series. Mainline entry, I should say, because there's so many spin-offs. Um, and yeah, this was released in 2017. And what's unique about this one is I believe it's in first person, which is a first for Resident Evil, because Resident Evil has usually been third person perspective. So I'm interested in that, because I think first person is more immersive, in my opinion. Let's... Uh, Try this one. Sure, we'll take it easy on you. Let's do normal. No hard difficulty yet. Hey, baby. I just wanted to send a quick hello, and I love Oh, those graphics look pretty oh, realistic, actually. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Looks almost like a real human. I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. Love you, miss you, my honey bunny. Oh, I gotta get back to work. Yeah. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. Eighteen point five megabytes, thirty nine seconds. What happened now? You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. It's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You alright? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Graphics are pretty good. It's 2017, but yeah, still. I know it's a fairly recent, not too recent, but fairly recent game, but still nice graphics. Especially like when uh, her face and like the like the overhead bird's eye view shot, that was pretty nice. Okay, these graphics are not that realistic looking as as uh, nice. I think her, the the graphics of her face and then that overhead shot with the car driving that was real that was pretty realistic looking. Uh, these are just okay graphics for 2017. I mean. I mean, obviously, still pretty good, but for 2017, it's pretty average. But Far Cry had a lot better graphics. Fine, Mia. I like that name, Mia. I don't know why. I just always found it like short. It's a short name, but uh, still feminine. It's Mia. Easy to pronounce. So I don't know. I guess if I have a daughter someday, I might call her Mia. Is this a nice, easy to pronounce name? And it sounds pretty funny. How much is to get in? Oh, obviously, I can't go in. But yeah, this is a first-person game, which is a first for Resident Evil. Usually Resident Evil games are third-person, so this is actually pretty interesting. Um, I think first-person definitely makes it more immersive for me. Like, when I play games like Outlast, right, or Dead Rising, uh, not Dead Rising, Dying Light, uh, Dead Island, you know, games like that, first-person, yeah, that actually makes it more immersive for me in those games.
gotta kill the zombies. Let's go see the zombies. Oh, is that one? Is that a zombie? Got to kill the zombies. Where did he go? Saw him and then he just disappeared. Got a license. Got a driver's license. Got her license and her email. Mia. Come get me. Ethan Winters, 2017. July 18, 2017. What was I doing at that time? I think I was in Korea in that time, right? I think I might have been in Korea. July 18, 2017. Ah. I wish I can go back to that time. I was young, 29 years old, I was in Korea, meeting all my friends. It's a good time. Uh oh. Okay, time to turn on the fire. Now it's gonna be Outlast, right? You know what? Outlast 2 came out the same year, right? Yeah. Outlast 2 and and this uh, this new Resident Evil 7 came out the same year. Res Outlast 2 was pretty scary, actually. Let's see how this compares with Outlast 2. Select an item to use. I can use that item. There's nothing I can do with it. Mmm, like these sunlight shadows. What is this? Can't see what this is. It's the burnt photo. No need a key for that. No, unlike Outcast, I won't have to use. Ew, this is so dirty looking. Disgusting fridge. Ugh. Unlike Outcast, I won't have to use a like a old camcorder with that runs out of batteries like every five minutes. So I don't have to deal with that, at least. Oh my god, what the heck is this? Someone trying to microwave a bird? Someone trying to microwave a freaking bird. Ugh, it's just disgusting. It's one of the most disgusting fridges I've ever seen. It's almost as bad as those high school toilets. You know how you go into some high schools? Well, porta potties, actually, yeah. High school toilets and porta potties are like the most disgusting things ever. Oh my god. Some porta potties, I mean, like, I swear they never clean them. And it's like the most disgusting pile of shit. Literally shit. That just builds up in those pot porta potties. <laughs> in the high school toilets, so the, I feel sorry for the custodians and janitors in high schools, man. Those toilets are absolutely like. Those, some of those toys are just hammered full of shit. <laughs> oh man. Play the piano. Oh. Okay then. I don't have a VHS tape. put something there, it looks like. Light tube. What is this? Just guy leaning over table with some legs. Blurry photo. Hmm. 
Where to go? Looks like I'm missing a lot of items. Again, like with all first person like horror games and first person exploration games, I wish this was in VR. Not responding, nothing works. Man. This is really the definition of decrepit. When they say decrepit or do you really do you relic? Yeah, do you relic? Derelic or decrepit, this is what. Derelic, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Derelic house. That is a definition. Let's play the VHS tape. this guy give me a break Pete hey I only work with professionals speaking of which make sure the sound is right this time I don't want to repeat of Amarillo that was two fucking years ago I don't do ADR is this gonna be like a Blair Witch project kind of thing oh, I should control. Okay. I'm not feeling it again just don't be surprised if we have to make a change new plan we do a walk through the inside first then we shoot the intro just like we always do just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gamers, another worthless fucking shit. Happy? Stop. It's cool I get to play through this VHS tape. Are we rolling? All right, let's go. Get out of the way. Ugh. It's locked. Ugh. After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds, booze, and haunting? Blair Witch Project again. Let's do it. Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. This is the same house I'm in, right? How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Yeah, the same house I'm in. Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh... Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Still Jack wants a and key. Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, oh Lucas. Bad seat Disgusting food. Ah, shit. I know I should have worn my good shoes. Well, the fridge is just oh, as bad. Shit. Glad I had my shots. Yep, it's just as bad back Although, then. <laughs> this make a great backdrop. And the bird is Andre, not here. What do you think? Interesting. The dead bird is not here anymore. Andre? This, this, this fridge is still disgusting, though. Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Where'd he go? Where is he? Unfucking believable! This is the last time I worked with that guy. <laughs> I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? You stick with me. What the 
कुछ है Disappeared. Andre, where are you, man? No VCR here anymore. Huh, no VCR. Secret All right, passage. New deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. So, uh, you first. What do you see? What is it? What the hell? What the hell? Oh, shit. There are some zombies there. Creepy stuff. Jesus. Now how did the VH te VHS tape survive? I wonder. So that's where they went. I wonder if we should go down there too. So apparently there's something here, right? This is the switch. Uh, here it is. Here it is, the exact same place. Let's see if we can go down here. Is there a zombie gonna be here or not? Zombies here. Oh man. Looks like it really feels like I'm exploring a real haunted house. Just cool. I mean, I just basically just like played a game inside of a game, right? <laughs> I played like a. VHS tape version, and then this is the real version inside this game. Yeah, at least I don't have to worry about batteries, like in Outlast. 
Dead, dead, dead. Turned. Turned, turned, turned. Dead, 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 dead. Turned. Okay. Well, the other thing in Resident Evil is at least you get weapons to defend yourself against zombies. In Outlast, you don't get anything. <laughs> you don't get anything. But, um. Yep, Resident Evil, at least you get weapons to defend yourself, I think. You should, anyways. Yeah, this game I haven't found anything yet. What is this stuff? Bloody bags, shoes. This is part of the reason I don't like big houses. <laughs> I don't want to live in a big house because I don't want like to deal with a creepy basement or attic or cellar or something like that. It just kind of creeps me out. And I don't like the maintenance of the big house. Let's do it. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Me? Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! There's a zombie here. Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? first. I think it's this way. Yeah, I was just here. It's behind that cardboard thing, I guess. Mia, we have to talk. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. We have to go this way. Oh, interesting. He's no longer here. Mia, are you sure you know where you're going? Family it was here. Who through here? I remember. There was like a, there was like a wall here, but no longer here. Hmm. It's been moved. So someone must have moved there. it. It's there. This is it. So if she knew how to s escape all along, why didn't she just do it before? I it. remember this room. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. It's not here. Zero, zero, it's one. gone. It's gone. <laughs> We're gonna be a family now that you're here. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Mia, 
We gotta get out of here. Just stay here, all right? And have a look around. It's a Mia doll. Why would someone make this? It's a voodoo doll or something? What happened? Mia? It's gone already? Oh, wow. It's been opened. Huh. That happened fast. It's been taken already. What? Okay. Get a nice little map. Cool. Get to explore the haunted house. Get dirty. I don't know, should I had to really go back there? <laughs> I don't want to go back in the basement. But if I can't Yeah, here's like locked. There's nowhere else I can go. Fine, I guess I'll go back to the basement. Turned into a zombie and then she turned back. Oh, we're in step first thing. What happened to her? Oh, 
shit. Oh shit. Uh oh. Okay, I can attack in this game. I can attack. Nice. I'm sorry, Mia. But since you're a zombie, I have to kill you now. This is what I have to do to zombies. Uh, no choice. I mean, she was a, she was like a zombie, so that's what I had to do. With crazy strength too. <laughs> Holy crap. Um. Oh, the phone. shouldn't have come here. Who's this? Then what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. Do it. Oh, now it's open. Oh, okay. This is the same place I came through before. Can I just go out? I just cannot yet not uh, go out the front door anymore. All right. Attic. Um, okay. all that fuse back. Oh shit, she's back. Oh my god, she's back. So she doesn't really die, huh? She just comes back. Of course it's locked. Of course it's locked. Oh. Okay, so she came back to life. Just great. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to kill her again then, maybe. again. She came back to life. Where is she? Oh, 
Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. But you could have acted like. But you shouldn't have done that. It fucking hurts. Ah. Shit. Uh oh. Now, uh oh. Let's see how you feel. Oh shit. Oh shit. My hand. Oh my god. Chainsaw my hand off. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's gruesome. Oh my god. I promise. Must burn it all. Shit, my hand got chainsawed off. What am I gonna do? Okay, medicine's not gonna fix this. What can I do? Find the entrance to the attic. Oh, okay. You can turn on the light here. Ah, uh, that's the entrance to the attic. I see. Well, I didn't expect to get my hand chainsawed off. But then she got revived, so... Okay, fine. Some death. Wow. That is absolutely gruesome. I definitely am not, uh. Yeah. Man. Back in the okay. 90s? Fine. When, uh. Remember back in the 90s when people were outraged about Night Trap and Mortal Kombat and those kind of games? Yeah. They got nothing compared to this. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about violence, man. This is violent. Wow. Getting sawed in half. Okay. 
Chainsaw away from her. She already got rid of my hand. Jeez. And welcome to the family, son. Oh shit. Oh shit. Am I going to get turned into a zombie too? now you have work to do what can I get an Apple watch too with my new hand I feel like I'm Luke in, in uh, Empire Strikes Back when he gets his hand cut off then I have to get it glued back yeah. together where am I what the hell and shine, sleepy head. Oh, no, it's time for supper we're all eating <sighs> This Ooh, disgusting wow, food. Where's Mia? <laughs> well, zombies. It's good. Don't so bitch would no good if it hit him. Okay. <laughs> 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 boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. Come here, boy. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. This might be one of the goriest games I've ever played. <laughs> that is insane. Alright. Um, wow. Okay. But yeah, this is Resident Evil 7. And uh, I think this is quite... Oh, uh, look at this. This is actually quite a scary game. I mean, after playing Res... Resident Evil 4 I think was okay but this one yeah I think I find this game actually <laughs> quite frightening indeed I think the first person thing really does make it more immersive uh, so yeah I think this and Outlast 2 are both frightening in different ways so yeah yeah I think this is uh, definitely got to be one of the scariest games I've played so far so wow this is 
you're going to come back to life or something. Oh, crazy. Yep. Oh, man. Well, inevitably, they'll probably come back. But, uh... Yeah, guys, this is Resident Evil 7. Yeah, I definitely think this is one of the more scary games I've played. Uh, first person definitely adds to the immersion and, uh creepiness factor. There's a lot of violence in this one. <laughs> wow. Getting my hand sawed off, getting sawed in half. That's that's crazy. So anyways guys, Resident Evil 7, thanks for watching. It's uh I think it's a it's pretty up there. It's a good Resident Evil game.